doesn't love getting fun stuff in the mail? So, like my hat, this is a very good friend of mine that uh, I've been his client. He's been my client. His name's Mark Stern. He is amazing. It's an event he did. Uh, he had me as one of the speakers and as a thank you, send said hat. So Mark Stern, thank you so much. Now, why does this even matter? Well, I'm glad you asked. And that's exactly what I'm going to be sharing with you today. So as we go through today, I want you guys to remember if something sticks out, hashtag light bulb. That way I know what is impactful and what do you guys want more of? If you have any ideas, any questions, anything like that, let us know. Because if we don't answer them on this video, we will on following videos. So be sure you're asking questions because I know one thing, and that's we are here to serve. So with that said, let's dive in. So first, I want to ask you a question. What is something that you got from a company that you kept way longer than anything else? right? We've all been to trade shows, conferences, different events. We've got stuff in the mail. And there's always that thing that sticks out that you just hold on to that you're, I don't know if you like it. It's useful. There are so many different reasons why we hold on to some of these tchotchkes and some of these marketing resources that company puts out. So first, I want to know what you're holding on to. So share it down below. Type it in. Because the more we know, the more we share, the more we can learn from each other, right? I love hats. Silly hats. Baseball caps. I'm not a baseball cap person. So what I did in college, I collected silly hats. We had tons of fun with them. After that, I stopped collecting at all. Now, I have three hats. Two Tony Robbins hats and this hat from Mark Stern. And he sent this to me for being a guest on his event. Now, it's very cool to be invited to do something. It's even cooler to get physical content for it. So this is something I have kept for, it's been at least a year, probably two. And it's been through two moves. When I move, I get rid of stuff. So that's how impactful getting something in someone's hands can be. So here's the things you need to remember when it comes to prospecting with physical content. The first thing is you have to stand out. You've got to make it memorable. You've got to make it impactful. Because if you don't stand out, hold on. I will show you exactly what happened. This is a whole bunch of stuff we got in the mail yesterday. Now, I, there's some very nice stuff. I appreciate the company for putting it together. But nothing stood out as more of the same, more of the same, more of the same, more of the same. See, if you're going to use physical content, you have to stand out. So one of the things we do, I love cards. Put something in the mail. We put this card in the mail and a big white envelope. This is a full sheet of paper. Traditional card, full sheet of paper card. And it's funny. But that's my brand, and that's who I want to work with. So don't make it funny if that's not you. Don't make it amusing or whatever. You've got to be you. But guess what? Everybody who has gotten this and I've talked to afterwards immediately remembered it. When I brought up the card, hey, did you get my big card? A little unexpected, right? They're like, yes. I did get that. That's hilarious, right? So you've got to make it stand out. Make it something different, something that no one else is doing. So let me ask you another question. 
What is the most memorable thing you've received from a conference or a trade show, right? You, trade shows, conferences, it is a great place to get tons and tons and tons of resources, right? Well, at those conferences, how many pens did you get? Lots, right? The goal from a conference is not to give away free pens. The goal is not to give away stuff. The goal is to make an impact, okay? I was at one of my most memorable things that I ever got or saw at a conference was at a conference in the restoration world. And it's a company that uses uh, Google Earth to bid roofing projects, right? And so they use Google Earth to go out, find out what's going on, where it's going on, and then give you a proposal without ever needing to go on the roof. Really cool, right? So Google Earth, they use aerial photos, stuff like that. At that tr conference, they gave out, you you remember those wooden planes, right? Little three pieces of wood, you stick them together and they fly. They gave those out with their logos on them. And it made perfect sense because their entire business model is about eyes in the sky, looking down so you don't have to get off the ground, right? So that brings me to the next point. You must make it relevant. Don't just send something for the sake of sending it. For example, this card, yeah, it's funny, but this sales copy right here makes it relevant. It explains why being amusing is important, why standing out is important, and why we're doing what it is we do, right? So when you're, it comes to physical content, make it relevant. Don't give out pens for the sake of giving out pens. When you just give out pens for the sake of giving out pens, it makes it way harder on you and way harder on your prospects to remember who you are, right? You've got to stand out and make it relevant, relevant to who they are, what they're doing, what they're struggling with. For example, one thing, as a father, I always am thinking about my kids, right? And when you're thinking about your kids, think about how can you market, let's say you wanted me to buy something for you, from you. If you marketed to me and said, Justin, here's three toys, I want you to give them to your kids and have fun. Am I going to remember you? Heck yes. If you target me to give to my kids, I will always remember you. So how can you make it relevant? Relevancy makes a huge impact. And then the last thing, the last thing you have to do when it comes to prospecting with physical content is you've got to make it duplicatable. One of the things I like about these cards, very easy to duplicate and get into the hands of the right people. You can do stuff like books. Books are very easy to duplicate and give out. So if you're, so it, I've done a lot around live events. When I was working around live events, we had this book that we could give out to prospects. We could give out to people who are interested in what we do. It's a good introduction. It provides a lot of value and it provides uh, social proof right? Because anybody who goes through the trouble has put together a book. They know something. They know at least enough to put it in any book, right? And the great thing about a book, you can easily duplicate it. So when it comes to prospecting, you've got to stand out. Prospecting with physical content, you've got to stand out. You've got to make it relevant and you've got to make it duplicatable. And then when you've got those things put together, it makes it way easier to make an impression 
because that's what sales is all about. It's about leaving an impression. It's about someone remembering your name when they have the problem. Far too often, we hope someone will come in and say, hey, this is what we're looking for. We hope that it's going to be a good fit. But more often than not, it's not. So if this has been helpful, I want to give you guys one of the things we do is we do a lot of cold outreach. And so part of that is we have to build these sequences for our clients. We've got a template. So if you type in email template, we will send you the email template that we use with our prospects, with our clients when they come on board. And we use that to create their first draft. Once we've got that, we start split testing and improving it. But you've got to start someplace. And cold email works, cold calls work, marketing works. Everything will work if you work it. You can't just expect it to work. So I want to give you a starting place. Go ahead, type email templates. I'll send you the templates so that you can start reaching out and getting conversations on the books to continue growing your business, making an impact and changing lives. And don't forget guys, if you have any questions, if you have anything you're working through, anything you'd like feedback or advice on, drop it down below because it, we may not talk about it today, but we will in the future. So let us hear what it is you need help with. Because if not, I'll just keep doing my thing. <laughs> and that's all you can ever do, isn't it? So with that said, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.